Oh, man. I'm just really sorry to tell you this, guys, but they just did a study and they found that keto induces cardiac fibrosis, which is scar tissue in your heart. Oh, man. After all those 5,000 videos on keto, I'm going to have to delete them all. And maybe I'll start doing videos on uh, veganism. Keto is obviously, it's very, very dangerous. So I'm being very sarcastic. Let me just put your mind at rest right now. When you do an evaluation, when you evaluate a study, you want to make sure that the data in that study is good. You want to make sure it's truthful, right? So the question is, what keto diet did they put these rats on? That's the question. And is this version of the ketogenic diet something that you would ever eat? And would it be something that any human being would ever eat? The answer is no. Let's go through the diet that they put these rats on. Number one, casein. Now that's a protein in milk, 16.5% of the diet was casein. And I think totally they had 18 rats, six were on the ketogenic diet. Another six were on the, the normal diet, which I should, I'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, casein is extracted with hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. That's how they extract it. And then you have something called L-cysteine, which is an amino acid. That's made from dog hair and chicken feathers, okay? Then you have cellulose, which is a fiber from wood pulp. And then you have soybean oil, which we know is inflammatory. And that was at a 4.25% of the diet. So casein and soybean oil are both inflammatory. And the reason I'm talking about an inflammation is because if you had fibrosis or scarring of the heart, we know there was inflammation. Then you have cocoa butter. Now we have no idea of the quality of the cocoa butter. Was it rancid? Was there chemicals in it? A lot of times when you extract certain oils or, or butters, they use uh, hexane, which is a toxic solvent. So we don't know, but 62.7% of the diet was cocoa butter. Then you have dicalcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, which is you're eating rocks, and mineral mix. Is there any of these ingredients that you're consuming? Okay, so the only reason they get away with saying this is a ketogenic diet is because it's low carb. Now, the diet that they compared this to had maltodextrin, it had other sugars in it, it was, it was just as bad. And so if the ketogenic diet caused fibrosis, what do we do? Go on the normal diet? Is that, is that what we should do? Now, there's a couple things you should know about rats, mice. They're different than human physiology. They don't have gallbladders. They're not designed to consume a lot of fat. And so to take this uh, so-called ketogenic diet, apply it to rats, and then to imply that if you consume the ketogenic diet, you're going to get fibrosis and scarring is a complete lie. It's not going to happen. The ketogenic diet that you're on is highly anti-inflammatory. Okay. So it prevents scarring because it gets rid of inflammation. So the question is who funded this study and what was the intentions behind it? Well, let's take a look. It was paid through grants from three organizations. One is state key development program of basic research of China. Number two, National Natural Science Foundation of China. Number three, Key Laboratory of Reproduction Regulation of NPFPC. I have no idea who that is, but this study is an absolute joke. But go ahead and tell me what you think in the comment section down below.